Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. A DJI data breach that actually turned out to be a scam. The FA authorization is extended one more time. We have air data that creates a public portal for government transparency. And then lastly, the Ohio DOT is going to be using drones for traffic surveillance. Let's get to it. First up this week is supposed DJI data breach that turns out to be a very complex and quite frankly, very bizarre scam. This came from the Mogilevich group that claimed online to have hacked DJI and they had a, apparently a one terabyte database of information, including prototypes and blueprints of new products. They were apparently selling this online and at least one person or group paid $85,000 for the non-existent database. The scammers then posted their scam online saying that, I quote, now the real question is why confess all of this when we have just run away? This was done to illustrate the process of our scam. We don't think of ourselves as hacker, but rather as criminal genius geniuses if we can call us that. Weird. Bizarre. Just, <laughs> just, just weird. Uh, to be clear here, DJI has not been hacked. It should be obvious. The hack was instead a scam to convince people to try to pay for a non-existing database. Uh, we'll keep you updated if we hear more about this, but I just don't understand the motive behind all of this. Just take the money and run. Why are you trying to make yourself look like you're so cool? Uh, it's just odd. Second, this week, the FAA got another extension in funding until May 10th of 2024. Now, this is the third extension since the uh, 2018 Reauthorization Act has run out, supposedly back in September of 2023. Now, the U.S. House of Representatives uh, passed the bill to reauthorize the FAA for another five years back in July of 2023, but the U.S. Senate has yet to come to an agreement uh, on the FAA reauthorization. You know, these guys are so busy doing so important stuff uh, that's just not on the list. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if this is another kicking down the can down the road or if it's actually, uh, eventually, we'll get a five-year reauthorization. Uh, who knows at this stage? Next up, Air Data has released a public portal for law enforcement agencies. The portal is an integrated product for public safety agencies to publish where drone operations have occurred within a city or a municipality. The publishing of these flights allows law enforcement agencies to be more transparent about their operation. Flights are filtered automatically to protect confidentiality, and the department can tailor what data is actually being released depending on their needs. Now, according to Air Data, several major police departments have assisted with the design and the development of the public portal, including Chula Vista PD, Las Vegas Metro PD, and uh, Sacramento PD. Uh, for more information, you can check out Air Data's website. We'll put a link down in the description. And then last up, this week, the Ohio Department of Transportation will be using what appears to be a census Centero uh, for traffic surveillance along US 33. Along with the purchase of the Centero, the DOD also has gotten approval for a BV loss waiver beyond visual line of sight and operation over people waiver, uh, allowing the drone to be operated over people and traffic beyond visual line of sight. Uh, specific safety mitigations are not listed in the article, nor are they available on the Ohio DOT website. Uh, it's unclear at this stage when the traffic surveillance operation will begin, but the drone will also be used for many other operations, including GIS operation, mapping, emergency management, and also construction monitoring. Another cool and innovative use of UAS, if you ask me. All right, that's it. You have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week on Monday for the live. So great. You saw Dune 2 this week, right? Yeah, it was awesome. Super cinematic. I'm just disappointed by the ending, but... Let's talk about it. Spoilers to follow. I'm not going to spoil it, but the ending is...